This is Sean from Be Your Own Nerd. Microsoft's being sneaky again. They are pushing out a Windows update, KB500-1716, that pushes Windows 11 onto your system if you are still running Windows 10. You can check to see if Windows Update KB500-1716 is installed, and I will show you how to do that in a few moments. There's a big debate. A lot of people still like Windows 10. I've used Windows 11. I have no issue with it. But everybody's system is their own, and they should get to decide if they want to run Windows 10 or Windows 11 without Microsoft being sneaky and trying to get you to upgrade it. And by sneaky, this is what they're doing. It says here, the update prompts use as a dark pattern to get users to update. Note the tiny keep Windows 10 option in the lower left corner of your screen. This is your option to keep using Windows 10. And you can see here, this is what it will look like when it comes up to prompt you. And you have two options, get it or schedule it. But way down here in the bottom, down here, you can see the keep Windows 10. So if you want to stay on Windows 10, that is the option you would select. Just keep in mind that Windows 10 support will be expiring on October 14th, 2025. So next year, you will no longer get updates to Windows 10. So in between now and then, you will need to upgrade to Windows 11. If you still aren't sure that you want to do that, click the Keep the Windows 10 option for now. But like I said, I use Windows 11 on multiple machines. I've been using it now for almost two years and I haven't had any issues. And this is how you would check it on a Windows 10 machine. You would hit Windows key I on your keyboard. So like Windows key Indigo, that's gonna open up your control panel. You gotta go over here to Windows Update and Security. And then from here, you would check to see if you have the KB500-1716 installed. And then from there, you can go up here to Uninstall Updates and uninstall it if you do have it installed. You can see here on this machine that it has not been installed yet. But if it was installed on your machine, you would go to uninstall updates up here on the top. And then from here, you'd be able to click it and then select uninstall. And that's how you would take it off of your machine if you don't want to be forced to update to Windows 11 or at least be prompted to update to Windows 11 all the time. Once again, this is Sean for Be Your Own Nerd. You can reach out to me on my website, beyourownerd.com. I have a free tech newsletter that I send out every week and I also have a podcast that you can subscribe to. And if you also can please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on notifications, I would be grateful. Thank you so much and have yourself a great tech day.